time. It's expensive. And this is their opportunity to show us against some of the best of the best what yep. they're made of. An upset here can make waves for them. Everyone can start their own story right here, right now. And right into it, we're getting into, uh, some Robin action. Now, I love this character. I love every Fire Emblem character. Robin, I think, being the most unique uh, out of all of them. Yes. Goes for that rapid jab. Not going to get much. Going to get back air up tilt. And that's where Bale gets most of her amazing damage started from that up tilt. That's not going to be death. We're going to take a lot of damage, but only 80% coming on to, to it. Oh, good punish with that forward air, George. Yeah, the new it, to it is going to struggle in the neutral a lot here, just based on those very slow stats that Robin has. Not a lot of air speed, not a lot of ground speed. Meanwhile, Lima can fade in, fade out, use things like that ABK to whiff punish mm. a lot more heavily. So you got to be careful. Absolutely, but where Robin lacks in speed, oh my god, that attack power is crazy. Oh, yeah. Has to avoid that fair one, gets ABK. Oh, you want that back air. They try to kick in the back of the head, but do it saying, nope, I know about that second hitbox. Get back there. Not going to get the KO just quite yet. Definitely going to be going for ledge traps instead of edge guards here, but you got to watch out because of that witch time. Great use of Thunder. Get off me. Amazing arc thunder. And as you were saying, even though you have those projectiles, Bale is such a great counter. Ooh, oh, up of that up there. Okay, that was not okay. a wonderful trade at all. Caught him gonna, swinging. Yeah, you said, you know what? We could trade that. It's going to be in my favor. You ain't going to like it. Oh. Up there in a forward air. Oh, that okay. arc thunder, that could have been massive Yeah, we got damage. setups. We got setups. Oh, I love Rob. I think Robin is slightly underrated, but that kick to the head, no joke about that. That stock is gone. Two for two right now, two to end Lima. It was critical that Lima get that kill there because it's so hard at super Damn. high percent for Bayo to find a raw kill once she doesn't have those confirms anymore. Yeah, did you see Tui try to finish it off there? He was in disadvantage, saw Lima below him and said, I can get a down air. Yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> he said, if it works, cool. If it doesn't, just neutral resets. But right now, Lima kind of showing their prowess why they are one of the best players in the world. Get hit by that back air. The guns are coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's not good. Manages to get back, reverses the situation. Now 73 on Lima. That's scary against Robin. Absolutely, but here's the thing. Oh. I'm going to refund some of that health back. I don't want that. You can take it. Avoid oh, that oh, down oh. air. You can't be doing that, especially with Robin, who has a lot of really good kill power. Going to go for the Thoron. I'm not sure how good that will be in this scenario, but let's see. Can they make oh. it work? And as I say that, they can. Not going to get the KO, though. Oh, Is that oh, going to oh. be it? No, not quite yet. It's okay. We rinse and repeat. Has another opportunity at the ledge. Is Lima going to go back? or try to go high. Uh. Goes back and gets killed for it. And to it, staying ahead in this game number one. Yeah, amazing set play. All you got to do is press side B, get that Levin neutral air, and that stock is yours, my friend. Give me that health back. I don't want that. Thank you very much. 55%. And now, Robin, what makes this character, I think, very underrated is the fact that Robin snowballs very hard. So 55% tries to go for the witch time. Not going to get it. Didn't spice the arc fire properly. He might pay for that, but no. Good strike scene coming off him to it, but now Lima in advantage right now. Can you get the kill? Goes super low, but to it goes oh. even lower. But the whiffs within keeps him alive. And now Lima reverses it, has to get this kill. I think that's going to do it. Yep. yep. Okay, good back air, 66%. Nothing Bayo cannot make up, and literally just a few good combo strings. Get some up tilts, get some up airs, and we're at an even game right now. But has to be careful. Arc Fire has the Arc Thunder as well. What's the oh, trap oh. looking like? Oh. Good stuff. Tries to afterburner, but we're ready for that every day of the week. Okay, good recovery coming on from Lima. And now this is the chance for them to make something happen. Oh, 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 watch out. Does not go for the air oh, dodge. No. gets the reset anyway with the Nair. Going deep. Manages to get back to stage. Forward or down Ooh. throw, actually. Are we going to forward throw this time? Yes, we are. Oh, the guns are clicking. Goes for that neutral air. Can they recover fast enough? Gets the forward air. Lima is on them right now. Gets that back throw. Going to be put in, in a really wonderful Ooh. scenario right now. Goes for neutral air. Nope. And that Levin sword is offline. That kill power going to be a little bit lower for two and for just a little bit here. Trying to space out. Oh, Trying to that's, slow that's it that's down. It. But the Ooh. witch. No, he's too oh, slow. Shit. And now oh. the sword is back. But the giant <laughs> fist from Lima. Okay, that was so clutch. Almost getting hit by that four smash could have been disastrous for Lima. That was very scrambly. That was a really interesting, uh, you know, just 
point to be in for the match, but Lima gonna clutch it out just barely. And now we're going on to game number two. I'm, I like two with Robin. I love this Robin. I love seeing it. And as Bale, who's a really good anti-zoner, the way two is playing this is playing very well. Very well, really good game so far. And that's just game number one. No, if you're to it, you worked so hard. You had that opportunity to start creating the upset. Lima brings it back. Now you have to take a deep breath, do it all over again. What makes Bayo so strong is just any raw hit can just get into ABK, and you're just yeah. going in for the most insane ride of your life. No Marvel 2, 126%. Spacey's the back air. Good stuff, good bait with the up tilt. But for the neutral air, not gonna get it. Tries to reset them with that upbeat, trying to push them away from the stage. Not gonna work, but for the up tilt into the back air, one of Bayo's best kill confirms it's gonna work like bread and butter. Good stuff coming on to Lima, taking the first talk off of Tuit. One thing that I'm seeing from Tuit, or maybe I should say from Lima, is the whiff punish game. Tuit was so good in the first couple of stocks of the first game of catching Lima on the approach. And what we're seeing now is Lima figuring out a way around that, baiting those options out, and then creating with punishes of their own. Absolutely. Oh, okay, that's not great. Have tries to use the arc fire near the ledge, almost getting killed by the back air, using that dash attack. Not the greatest move. Oh, we're going for fair reps. Yes, sir. A B. Okay, it is Robinson. They might be able to make it back, but Bayo being having a wonderful recovery. Naturally, yeah. just really good at edge guarding. And Robin's recovery is very susceptible to any kind of hitbox, so you have to be real careful. And Lima has already shown that he knows exactly where to space those back airs on the up special. So you can't just mix up the timing on that, go high, because Lima keeps catching it. Yeah, as, as far as it travels, you're not really safe anywhere. So back throw not going to kill just quite yet. And we're going from a somewhat even game to a potential three stock. What I was going to say, but Tua says, shut that up. Oh, okay. Goes for the arc fire. Goes for fair one and two. Makes that recovery happen. Arc fire here again. This is where Robin likes to be near the ledge, Smash. but not going to get anything. Just the raw guns coming out from Lima. Why not? I can do it. I have a whole two stocks ahead of you. Right now, to it, not all oh, shit. All the right. giant fist. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Come on, man, Squidward. I, 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 got, I got hit there, man. Not the giant fist. Here comes fist. the giant fist, bro. <laughs> Wanted to try to get a, a neutral air or an up air, forward air, something. Unfortunately, that, you know, that fist is giant, bro. You kind of have to hold that. Okay, That's we got right the music there. counterpick, though. Right, How are you feeling go. on those Fire Emblem music tracks? I feel like Fire Emblem has... I'd say some pretty good music, you know, like in Smash. Um, I wish they used a lot more of Three Houses music. Um, like we didn't get God Shattering Star, which kind of sucks, but it is right what now, it is. Right now, we are on, to, on to potentially the last two, game of this set, one, unless Tua can figure something out right now. We are on small battlefield. While it does give Lima more chances to catch Robin, it actually makes Robin's uh, traps a lot harder to avoid because those projectiles right. are going to be everywhere. So a little bit of, uh, you know, um, uh, gift and return kind of, you know. Let's see how this kind of works out for both of them. It's risky for both, but it benefits both as well. And right now, Lima taking full advantage of how small this stage can be. I definitely think that not letting Lima fade in and fade out with a large stage as much is going to benefit to it a lot. And you were talking about those setups as well, right? We saw how potent those were earlier, but once again, that's the downside. Lima is so good at finding those. Absolutely. Go for that down throw into neutral air. Not going to get it just quite yet. It's actually super hard to combo Bayonetta. That's also what makes his character Ooh. like just insane. So even if you have her in like a combo, you, you risk getting, you know, back within or she's just too skinny to get the combo started. Up uh, air. Okay. Uh oh, and gets the air up. dodge. No punish though from Lima. However, rinse and repeat in the corner anyway. Those forward airs send him back off stage. Wanted the low recovery. Two, it goes high, but then the Levin Sword actually clutching it out for him with a little bit of a ledge trap there. And what makes it really hard for Two as well? Oh, 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 oh. All right. Bayo. Bayo tax. <laughs> Bayo players always. <laughs> they always SD. I said it's one percent. They they just always SD, man. It's unfortunate. You hate to see it. But can I get a kill here? No, not quite yet. 
Oh, we've that seen that low? a couple times where Tuit is using that at the ledge, and Lima does get passed with the Witch Time, but isn't able to get the Punish, which honestly works out pretty well for Tuit because it increases the timer on Witch Time. Yep. Arc fired. Kind of stays his shield. Oh, wow, just kind of bats within. A little bit of a spaghetti situation here for both players. But for the up B, afterburner kick coming. Oh, both for the fair, but kind of holds it too early, getting the guns, which is not really what they wanted. Try to space that back air. It's really hard for two to kind of box a bay, and then, especially when they're throwing out these forward airs and these back airs, because any straight hit can have to lead to a really nasty combo or lead to your demise. Ooh. Good up air. Well, there you go. You're talking about those nasty combos. To it, not able to get it started there. We get the jab, though. No punish on the finisher. Lima with the instant approach. 210 on to it right now. Barely staying alive. Yep, neutral air. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the kill there with the back air like a UCC Lima do, but not gonna get it just quite yet. That dash attack will do the deed though. And now to it on potentially his winner side stock here as he can't beat Ooh. Lima right here on this game three. Lima just dominating this robber right now, staying near ledge, being patient, playing it by ear. Okay. We love these setups though. And to it manages to take the stock. We're evening it up. 50% is nothing in this matchup. Try to read the roll there. Not gonna get it just quite yet, Lentini, but right now, center stage. Oh, there, but you can't be getting hit by those. Any just straight hit from Bayo oh. just adds up so much. Oh. Okay, okay, we got those juggles with the Nair. A little bit unusual, but it worked out well for Lima because you can't get crossed up. Falls out of the forward air. That's an opportunity for Tuit. Needs to get down from these platforms, but Lima will not let them land. Oh, God. Go for that up there just for a little, little, little bit of a DI mix up. Back airs, you know what's coming. Any witch time, any oh. forward air, any something. But Robin, no slops to killing early as well. Just gotta find a way to survive. As of right now, go for the North Frost. Trying to get some damage back. Not gonna work, and this is potentially. Oh. That was really interesting. To it intentionally burning the Levin Sword, wanted to reset it, and now again we're seeing that spacing out. Lima able to get the catch though. That's the downside. Such a risk on a small stage like this. Yep. Although, oh, here's where Robin loves to shine. Oh, that oh. could have been a bait there. Neutral air, takes seven percent. It's a good spot for To it to be in. Which time gets hit by the very last of arc fire. Neutral air, no, not Ooh. quite yet. APK, oh, APK into back air, and that's gonna be it. Lima taking it over to it. 3-0 in winner's side of top 32. Really good stuff coming on, too. One of the best Bales to ever do it. But I love watching good Robin play, man. I yeah, love seeing this character's it, so. rare, right? Yeah, they're rare. They hit like a truck. They have a lot of really cool set play. They're also cool to look at, too. They got the nice jacket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Getting mad at that. Jacket. So I love seeing good Robin play. So shout outs to it for making it this far in top 32. But Lima will be the one to take this set and move on into winner's side bracket. Indeed. Good stuff to both players. Like you said, it's fun to watch a, a Robin player. It was great to see the, the little adaptations, little optimizations of the character. That resource management is so critical. And Tweet did a good job of figuring out when to burn the Levin Sword intentionally, when to space out, slow down the game. It was just that Lima was a little bit better in the zone breaking game. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it what's make, I don't know. I think it what makes Bayo so versatile. She can either play like super defensive, right? Hard to hit, you really can't get her. Or it makes her super hard to fight against because she's so zone.